The UN General Assembly has voted in favor of a humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza. President Joe Biden's off-camera warnings to Israel spark a swift pivot in America's supportive stance of Tel Aviv. And after widespread outcry for its controversial photo series, Zara has now withdrawn its ad campaign. Hey everyone, it's Fakhria for the Roundup, and here are today's top stories. 153 out of 193 UN General Assembly member states have voted in favor of a humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza. This comes just a week after UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres invoked the rarely used Article 99 of the UN Charter. This triggered an emergency Security Council meeting calling for a truce. The initial resolution tabled at the Security Council would have been binding. However, as a P5 member state, America used its veto power and doomed the resolution's passage. Although the newly passed resolution is non-binding, it marks a clear pivot in global opinion against Israel. Israel and America were among the 23 countries who voted against the resolution. Despite voting against the UN General Assembly ceasefire resolution, American support of Israel also seems to be hanging in the balance. In an off-camera comment, US President Joe Biden said on Tuesday, Israel is starting to lose support by indiscriminate bombing of Gaza. The president also took aim at Netanyahu's far-right coalition government, saying that some members don't just not want a two-state solution, they don't want anything to do with the Palestinians. Analysts say this rift between Biden and Netanyahu is now beginning to unravel in public due to a dispute over whether the Palestinian Authority should be in charge of Gaza once the war ends. In the wake of this dispute, Netanyahu vowed on Tuesday not to let Israel repeat the Oslo mistake. And finally, after drawing criticism for capitalizing on war imagery, Zara has abandoned their collection Zero for the Jacket advert campaign. The Spanish retailer attracted scathing backlash for the photo series that went with the ad. Models were photographed carrying mannequins wrapped in white quilts at the backdrop of a destructive scene. Users on social media slammed the campaign with many saying they would be returning their clothes alongside notes saying Free Palestine. According to a report by the Financial Times on Wednesday, quarterly sales figures show a less than expected performance amid the boycott. And that's it for today. For more information, make sure to check out the website or download the app.